Hey y'all, welcome back to l and Honeycomb Homestead. It's about that time, y'all. It's about that time. It's getting cool. And I just wanted to get a good spin one more time out in this yard and stuff before it get cold. Because I'm not coming back outside and I want to come outside and play. But anyway, you know, it's just, just looking at it, the trees are turning. I'm going to turn y'all around so you can see. The trees are starting to turn and stuff and when winter is almost coming too but uh yeah it's cloudy it's gonna rain and everything so trees are turning yellow all that so yeah, I just wanted to come outside. Um, my hydrangeas, they look pretty. I'm gonna let y'all see. Hey, the weather is so weird. Is it about that time for them to bloom or do they bloom in the spring? I've seen them always bloom in the spring. I never seen them bloom around this time of year. It's cause it's so sunny. This weather is so sunny. You know what I mean? I'm gonna turn y'all around here in a second so you can see how pretty they are. Look at here. They're really pretty. Real pretty. You know, um, they need to be trimmed. This whole tree need to be trimmed up and, and all that. But, um, yeah. Um, one of the neighbors had one um, across the street. And they asked if I wanted a hydrangea. It was a few years back. And I was like, yeah, and it was real tiny. It wasn't this one, it's on the um, other side of the yard. And so um, now it has really grown. Y'all, this is just so gorgeous. Look at there. Just so pretty. It smells good too over here. But yeah, it's just wild and rambunctious. We just got to get it trimmed up and everything. I would love to put that out there on the homestead. Have us some hydrangeas as well. I think they're just very beautiful. So, yeah, I'm just out here. Um, just taking a little quick stroll. Before I go back inside and thought I'd pick up the camera. Talk to y'all. I had put some marigolds in that tires those tires when i was doing those cucumbers and y'all look what's so weird is that cat kept coming in here digging in the cucumbers if y'all look back on a few videos and i was just agitated because every time they were digging out of there they were knocking the seeds out but this has seed look look y'all <laughs> marigolds marigolds and they all came up it's just weird this weather is really weird but um yeah really i'm just enjoying the little time i can out here and then i'm gonna go in because y'all gotta get these videos i gotta make sure y'all are getting them getting it in look it's just crazy just raggedy look y'all just raggedy but uh and make sure y'all have these videos and stuff i enjoy doing them with you and everything so i'm gonna be in like a convict hand suited warm in the house and out of this cool air but i ain't doing nothing just walking around the yard just thought i'd pick up and just ramble there's nothing going on kids are outside playing we're gonna have a little parade down our little street. And um, they usually come and get their little trick or treat candy. We try to have stuff for the kiddos on our little block. I thought that was cute. We've been doing that for the past, I think, three or four years, something like that. And it's just really sweet that we do that. We all come in as a community and um, we make sure these kids have a nice little parade showing their little costumes and stuff like that and seeing the little babies in their little outfits for Halloween 
and just let kids be kids. It's so sweet, so precious. So, yeah, that's what's pretty much going on here at the L and L Honeycomb Homestead. And um, y'all, have you a wonderful and blessed day. That's what you do. Have a wonderful and blessed day. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.